y'all. Jenny Rainey Edwards bumping down highways. Wow, what a night with storms and rain. We're getting ready to pack up here in Charleston, South Carolina and head back to Utahville, South Carolina just for an overnight to pick up the car and then we're picking up a surprise tomorrow and heading north towards North Carolina. So I want to show you some of the mess. It's going to be a big mess to clean up so that we can pack up. Oh, wow. Even Emmy's poop bag floated across the park. Whew, holy crap. It's hot out here, but I'm starting to get things packed up and cleaned up and get all the mud up and the wet and trying to get out of here on time. Not sure it's gonna happen. Next on my agenda is to get the sewer line packed up, cleaned out, water lines cleaned up, and uh, power in, and then I gotta clean up inside. Whew. I'm gonna add a little water to my tanks too because we are gonna be boondocking um, Wednesday night at the Carolina Mudcats game in Zebulon, North Carolina. Dang y'all, that was a muddy mess. We are 11.34, supposed to be out by 11. And it's all finally packed up, but I closed up my clothes, so uh, my, me and my brawless, wet, sweaty, dirty self is gonna go for a ride. I hope you'll join me and let's have fun. Was crazy getting out of there. I wasn't sure which way to go to get out. But we made it. Now we're getting on the road. block traffic and has those double wides turning. Woohoo! Heading to Utahville! Oh my gosh, this is the most amazing secret place I've ever seen. Now 
this should be fun. It looks like the this new home is going somewhere nearby. And they're going to try to back in, turn in, do something. Oh, I see what's happening. Here's a roundabout up here, and they're trying to fit around it. I remember the first time I came around this thing. Holy crap, I had a time getting around it. And I can only imagine how hard it is for them. They are having a little challenge getting across the railroad tracks and getting through town. Uh-oh. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, man, they're trying to turn on that little road. They'd have been better off going on this road. Wow. And then this car parked over here, talk about worrying about a lot of things. Well, he missed the car. <laughs> now let's see if he misses the building. That takes talent. The little town of Utahville hadn't seen anything like that in a long time. There's a town hall. And some beautiful, beautiful big old houses. I know him. We're almost there. Little bumpy him, but we made it. We made it back to Rock's Pond. Woo! -hoo! We made it to Rock's Pond. Now I just want to check. I'm not really going to break anything down. I just want to go out and check and make sure at least maybe we can put an awning out and one chair out. But we're here. Back at my little camper in Utahville. And I couldn't help it. Even though it's just an overnight, I needed to feel like I got something done. So I've been painting more cabinets and drawers. And I started putting these doors that were already painted back up. Well, I didn't have a lot of time, but we got quite a bit done. I got a few more cabinets, so all of my kitchen cabinets are now painted. The drawers are painted. Back up. Backsplash up. I actually can function in my kitchen. This light I know stinks. I want to show you I have my pretty flamingo that my best friend got me. Let's see if it'll come out. You can see it. Isn't that beautiful? It hangs in the window and reflects the sunlight. So my kitchen space is done. Uh, when I come back in September, I have to fix this slide because it's drooping in that corner over there. And we'll get wallpaper up and more painting done. 
And then the next thing to do after that is something with this bedroom. Lovely, huh? But I promise when I'm finished, it will be beautiful. I'm Jenny Rainey Edwards on the adventure of a lifetime. I hope to see you on the road. I'm right where I belong.